guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a comparison between ColourPop's Cherry Crush collection and Wet n Wild's My Cherry Amour collection uh, mainly the palettes we're gonna see if we can create a similar look with these two so if you would before we get started please like and subscribe down below it really helps my channel and I'd really appreciate it First thing I'm going to do is go in and prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer. So first thing we're going to go in with is we're going to go in and I'm going to do the Wet n Wild Cherry Amour Palette on my right eye and I'm going to do the ColourPop Cherry Crush on my left. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with the shade number three first in the My Cherry Amore palette. This shade right here. And I'm just going in with this Wet n Wild uh, crease brush. Let me just grab my mirror here. Mirror actually came with the Cherry Crush collection from ColourPop. And let's just do a little for you guys. I'm just going to apply that shade into my crease. bit more in that shade. So I will say that the um, Wet n Wild Cherry Collection is supposed to smell like cherry. The palette is, but to me, I'm going to show my age here, but to me, it smells a lot like uh, Strawberry Shortcake dolls growing up that I had. Now we're going to go in the ColourPop palette. And we're going to clean off that brush really good. Go into the shade Cherry Stem, which is this shade right here. And we're just going to put it in the crease. Okay, so now we're going to go in with shade number five. In the wet and wild and we're gonna go in with a little more dense crease brush from again from wet and wild and we're just gonna go a little lower in our crease with this one all right so in the color pop palette we're gonna go into this shade I think it's cerise We're just going to put that lower in our crease. I 
as you can see so far, we have a very similar look. So here's where we might start getting a little different. We shall see. But um, we're going to go in wet and wild. And I'm going to go in with that smaller uh, crease brush. And I'm going to go into the shade number nine, which is the shade right here. And I'm going to go in the outer corner. That's pretty pigmented. I'm just going to use it on the outer V here. Try to deepen up. Even though it looks kind of brown in the pan, it actually comes off more of purple tone, or like a berry tone, I guess you would say. All right, so I'm gonna clean that brush off, and then we're gonna go into the shade, take a bite in the ColourPop palette. Where we're at, where we're at so far. This is the color pop side. This is the wet and wild side. Still looking pretty similar. I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter primer, like I always do before the shimmers, just give them an extra pop. And I'm gonna go in with this angled wet and wild brush. So, for right now, we have a very, very similar look, in my opinion. The shimmers in these palettes are quite different. Like, they'll look a little similar, like in the pan, some of them, but then they come off different on the eyes. So, I'm going to try to go in with the closest of the two. Um, so, I'm going to go in on the Wet n Wild eye with number seven, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger. And then in the color pop one, I'm going to try to go in with the shade here called Juicy Juicy on a different finger. All right, so as you can see, they're both a darker shimmer, but they have different undertones. All right, so this is where we're at. As you can see, shimmers change the look a little bit on the eye. So we're gonna go on the lower lash line, the wet and wild side, and we're gonna go in with number five. And I'm using a BH number 
three from the cupcake collection brush for this. And then I'm gonna clean that off. And then I'm gonna go in with number three underneath that. And then I'm gonna clean it off again. And then I'm gonna go in just a tad with number nine on the outer edge, the lower lash line. And then on the ColourPop side, we're gonna go in with Cerise. Still using a BH number three brush. And then I'm going to clean that off. And then we're going to go in with Cherry Stem. And then in the outer part of the lower lash line, we're going to go in with Take a Bite. So I'm going to apply ColourPop's Creme Gel Liner in the shade Jubilee into my waterline. So off camera, I applied the 3D Foam Ink Lashes in the style Offended from Beauty Creations. And we're going to try one of the ColourPop's Cheek Do's that came in the Cherry Crush collection. Opening up, I'm not sure which one I want to try yet. I've never used these. I'm not sure about the formula. Okay, so we're gonna go with a little uh, more of a strawberry pinky color instead of this bright red. Okay. So I think I'm just going to dot it on my face. Does come sealed, so that is nice. Okay. I'm just gonna put just a little bit, and then I'm gonna try this Elf um, Putty Blush Stippling Brush to just blend it in. Okay, I will say that it, it looks like it's going to be like wow, and then when you put it on, it kind of goes sheer. Not completely sheer, but do you still see the color? Kind of like a cheek tint. So I'm going to put a little bit more. So if you're someone who likes to build up your blush, I think you really like these. I'm not hating it, because 
I'm not a huge like in your face bright blush person. And I'm gonna apply that to the other side and I'll be back. Okay, I actually really like these because it gives you like a natural kind of glowy finish. I did build this up about three times and this actually worked really nice to blend it in. All right, so now we're actually gonna go and try this from the Wet n Wild collection. This is the gloss and lip pencil set. So I'm just gonna line my lips first with the pencil. That's pretty creamy. And then I'm going to go in with the gloss. Now that is stronger. It does smell more like cherry. So this is the finished look. So I will say that it's similar. You can, uh, after the shimmers, you can tell the difference, but the mattes were pretty close, if not identical with some of them. So if you couldn't get this one, you could get this one or vice versa in its place. Like I said, the only difference is, is the shimmers are different in them. I like both collections so far. I think they're pretty. Um, again, just like with the other ones I talked about, if you don't like fragrance, you're not going to like the Wet n Wild collections. So if you would, please like and subscribe down below. It really helps my channel. And let me know if you uh, picked up anything from either one of these collections and what do you think about it. Until next time. Bye, guys.